Hello everyone, welcome to the Mooners Sports Centre here for the Under-16 Boys Division 1 Grand Final in the Basketball Hobart Juniors. It is Cavaliers taking on Grenadiers and with me in special comments today is none other than the man himself, Martin Duff. How are you Duff? Yeah, pretty good there. Thanks Ronnie. Great to be here and uh, really looking forward to this big match. Some are saying it could be a one-sided affair, but I tell you what, you never know what can happen in a grand final. Richards in time, wanted to go to frame, but it was never on. So Collins into Protney. Protney needs to get busy with seven on the shot clock. Puts up a nice little floater and makes it. Good shot there by Oscar Protney. Harrison. Lewis. A little bit indecisive, Jackson Lewis has been. And the ball kicks out. Here's Harrison. Lewis now definitely decided to drive, and it was a good option. And that's what Jackson and Lewis needs to probably do a bit more. Just have those more controlled drives to the basket. And I swear he would have had more points than anything else. Perotney to put up another floater. He's never on. Makes up for it defensively. Good steal. Here's Collins. Now, here's... Steal Collins for another three. That's off. We know Collins can go to work. Whoa! Miller rejected bottle, but still there was able to pick up the, the pieces and get the job done. So another two there for Grandiers. Jackson Lewis with a quick response. As the scoreboard goes berserk, and there's two more. So we'll get the replay there. And this is what happened. So Steele had it. Nice little mini crossover and then, yeah, good con yeah, bit of contact and he'll go to the line for one. And that missed everything. And Grandiers will get it back. So Harrison with it. Here's Lewis. Now Miller. Back to Abbott. In turn, Lewis goes with the floater. That's off. Lewis gets his own rebound, decides to pull it up. That went absolutely nowhere. Here's Abbott with a tough fade away. That is off. Probably with the, with the ball here. Look to go exploring. Nice pass. Here's Collins. And a good steal by Lewis. Lewis goes up the floor, has to kind of retreat back and wait for his teammates to come down to meet him. Now he will get something going. Good pass inside to Miller. Back to Abbott. Abbott loses control, but still there with some really good pressure. Lewis for three. He's short. Good rebound there by... That was... That was Young. Now Perotney back to steal. He's Young. Perotney from the free throw. Doesn't get a use of a friendly roll. Lewis there with the rebound. And Collins get the steal off Harrison. Harrison going all the way. Looked like he got fouled. Referees did not see it that way. Play continues on. Grand is uh, saying that I think I said Colin might have had a few words to the referee. And the referee has probably just ignored the entire thing. <laughs> So there was a foul there, out of all that as well too. We'll get the replay. Let's try to go back here a little bit. Let's have a look. So there's the foul. I have no issue with that. It was earlier on there in the piece where Collins looked to be fouled, then had some advice for the referee. Grandy's players tried to make that clear. Uh, but referee wasn't taking any of it, unfortunately. So, he missed both free throws. Grand ears. Have got the ball, Lewis. Here's Harrison for three. Just a bit offside there on that shot. Now, Young into Protney. He needs a bit of help. We go back to Young. Now, Protney in a little two-man game in the backcourt. Protney, nice little wraparound pass in the frame. And then good pass in the steal, who makes the two. So, again, good teamwork and good unselfish work by Cavaliers. Certainly showing why they are 16 and 0 and about to become 17 and 0 for the entire season. Perotney gets bump. No call. And then Collins gets Harrison in the head. 
And it's an obvious foul. I'm sure. A bit of banter going on there. So Collins will come on, come on, uh, come off for a rest. Richards comes back on. And Abbott will have the ball. Sorry, that's uh, Cooper War uh, Warburn. My apologies to Cooper, who I have coached as well. Did have a season at Grand Ears as a coach, as Callum Abbott makes the two. And of course, it's 38. I had 37, so we gave Grand Ears a point only because we were ahead on the scoreboard, so he should be right now. Here's Warburn, who goes all the way. The up and under was in, was off. Now steal with the ball. Inside to frame. Turn around, Jay's off. And Harrison with it now. Warburn into Abbott. Abbott, nice, nice shot by Callum Abbott. That's a number two. So they go to 40. And marching out to 28. You can nearly make it, or you can nearly make it 31 there, but Perotney missed everything. Here's Lewis. We'll get through two. Puts up a, t a little bit out of control on that layup. And jump ball. So we'll have a look at the replay here. Lewis just a little bit out of control on that. And fair to say, though, there was a little bit of... Um, a little bit of defensive pressure as uh, Warburn, uh, Warburn and Miller come off for rest. Play restarts. Here's Lewis. Goes for the two. It's short. Lewis gets his own rebound to Abbott. Abbott with the tough J. Gets his own rebound and then got re partially rejected by Protney. Ball goes out of bounds and Grandiers will get the ball back. 14 seconds left on the shot clock here for Grandiers. Final quarter here from the Moon Sports Centre on court number two. Trust you are enjoying the coverage here on your home of hoops, which is Stuff TV, as Perotney has the ball and draws a very smart foul on Riley Abbott. Again, this is just some, some veteran play here. Yeah, just bum out the back there and, you know, can easily get a foul off that. Richards makes another two. So, see what's going on here. So, 70 plays 40. Hope you enjoyed the telecast here on Duff TV, and we'll see you again soon as we leave you with a very happy team from Cowboys.